How would, let me ask you, how would you try to convince a person who is not a Christian to join you in your love of Jesus? Imagine you run into an unbeliever at work, um, in a social setting or at school. What would you say and do to convince them to give their lives to Jesus? Before anything, make sure that you breathe a prayer to the Holy Spirit for direction. Fortified with this security, you can confidently proceed. But let me offer you three, three thoughts. Number one, I'd suggest that you begin by getting to know them. I'd ask questions about their family, their work, their dreams. I might pose a question that has moral implications and find out where they stand on things like, oh, religion, war, immigration, and politics. All of this centers on the importance of listening. Let's hope that an affection for the person grows as they share their life. This sincere affection can be expressed with words, expressions, gestures, and even reaching out with a touch. The goal is to have the person share themselves in a vulnerable way. They'll do, they'll do this only if your love is genuine. Number two, then it's my turn to share myself with a person. I speak of my family, my work, my dreams. I can give my views on social and political issues. The heart of my sharing is being vulnerable, trusting, and honest. Listen to the tender words of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. He shared how he evangelized. We were gentle among you as a nursing mother cares for her children. With such affection for you, we were determined to share with you not only the gospel of God, but our very selves as well. So dearly beloved had you become to us. The third point that I'd suggest to you is um, simply to tell the story of your relationship with Jesus. Now, for me, that doesn't mean that I have to be conversant with the Bible chapter and verse. After all, the Bible is merely the story of how people have encountered God. Now it's my turn. Now, there are many other facets of evangelization beside those three. In today's reading from Malachi, the prophet speaks challenging words. And in the gospel, Jesus is critical of the scribes and the Pharisees for being proud and close-minded and hypocritical. My three steps suggest a beginning. Oh Lord, following you isn't only a matter of my personal conversion. Uh, I'm called to invite others to know and love you. Please, help me to do my job well. Amen.